when you pick up a tape, um, it's it's a bit the same as a as a tape that you would have played in your tape recorder. You, you'd pick it up like this. You would never be putting your fingers in there because that's where the tape's running through. You've got your reel to your reel, so you're never touching in there. That's important. That you hold the tape like this, and you put it into the machine like this. It would have gone in like that. These don't work, but it went in like that, and then it came out. So you always hold the tape like this. Um, you you can pull that back by pressing a pen into that little thing there. I'm not sure why you'd need to do that, but if you wanted to do that, you can do that. Like you used to do on tapes, you'd sometimes be, you could roll them on like that. But yeah, you hold the tape like that and you put it into the box, like so, and you're not touching around the tape, because the tape could be damaged with fingers, grease and spills of coffee. And people did used to drink coffee. The tapes did used to get damaged. You know, the transmission guys were there 24 hours a day, overnight, and they'd have coffee and they'd have their sandwiches and things. And yeah, stuff could get spilt into that tape and it could be wrecked. And then you have to redub it. Yeah, so if you're on a shoot, you're doing an OB shoot, what you're shooting is very, very precious. So you're shooting it onto beta or in the old days, I suppose, onto one inch, but that's really important. If you lose this piece of kit, you've lost your work. So it is really important. So that bag being sent off to an edit was a piece of very precious goods. You know, we wanted to know, we used tried and tested motorbike drivers. We had Mark, the biker from MTV, for instance. Mark, the biker, took all the tapes and he was really good. Some, some riders were not so careful, but if those were damaged, you'd have to go back in, you know, supply the whole edit again um find the master tapes redub them it, they were very precious pieces of kit these so that library was security locked nobody else could come into the library apart from us we used to let people in um, it wasn't somewhere that anybody was allowed to come in and walk around because if those tapes went walkabout you'd lost your your valuable maybe one-off concert where something had been recorded something special happened some guests came on unexpectedly to do a guest performance with some big star and it was important that that was really carefully looked after so it was quite a it was quite a sort of um it was sort of a sanct sancti sort of sanctity place if that's not the word what's the word it was a <clears throat> hallowed ground almost a library you know it was you weren't nobody was just allowed to walk in there we weren't supposed to have hot drinks in there and all that sort of thing um yeah they were very important pieces of kit these tapes <laughs>